Hey guys, Todd here. Um, just wanted to let you know a few um, uh, tips or uh, tricks for how to get the keyboard sounds dialed in for our visitors on Sunday and for future reference in case I'm not here. Um, so right now the keyboard has like a piano sound. Lots of reverb and it also has a pad sound, it's called analog. Um, but I know from last year that our guests um, wanted less of a reverb on piano and no pad. So here's how you turn it off. Um, I pulled the keyboard out and there's a bunch of different dials. And right now, uh, so first of all, the sounds over here, um, the, the piano sound is selected by the arrow key. The arrow means that sound is selected. To switch back and forth, you use uh, these buttons. So to press down, we'll switch the arrow press up it'll go back up so that arrow again these two arrows right here so arrow down will go down arrow back up okay go back and forth so i'm going to select piano and over here the knob function is on row one row one this knob is uh changing reverb so if i dial if i just kind of move it right now reverb is at 64 whoops now I just want to turn it all the way down uh, to zero. And uh, you may have to like turn it up to all the way to the right first in order to get it to like trigger and then all the way back down. So uh, reverb zero means the piano is really, really dry sounding. There's still a pad sound. So that's reverb. Um, next we're just going to work on the pad sound. So Again, I'm gonna go back over here to the arrow the cursors and they're gonna hit down. So now the pad is, is arrowed, means it's selected. And we're going to turn down the volume. And if you notice on controller A or knob A, volume is at the third layer. So what, what we need to do is go over here to knob function, tap on that three, until it's on row three. That lines up there. And then we're gonna turn volume down to zero. Now when we play, now it's just piano with no, no uh, reverb and um, no pad. So if you are not playing or if uh, our guests are not playing and you want the pad sound back up, basically you need to do just make sure we're at, whoops, we're at row three again, and that the analog pad sound is still have the arrowed, so it means we're gonna be testing those levels. And you're gonna go to that dial and dial back up. Previously, it wasn't around 34. You can adjust that higher or lower depending on your tastes. But now, now that pad sound is in there with the sound. Um, just for Sunday, since I know they liked it without any pad sounds, I'm gonna turn it back down. You can certainly tweak that. So yeah, that's a quick overview of uh, keyboard adjustments. All right, thanks guys.